Hey guys, you may be wondering why I'm in this locker. The following episode is criticism. <laughs> and now on to the episode. <laughs> JoJo has fun. Okay. AMD Gaming Evolved? Are you kidding me? Is that a thing that you know? No, it's normally <laughs> NVIDIA. I've never oh. seen AMD get anything, any love. Hello! Hello and welcome. Merry Spooptober. Spooky, uh, spooky, spooky time. Taking a little break from the Phoenix of Right to Boo. play a scary game. Which is good. Yeah, I- this is the Alien Isolation. Yeah. Uh, we'll play Alien Isolation. And Wait, we will what was, there was another option? I uh, yes. Um, it's still a challenge, but one I may survive. I do want to start a new campaign. I can see what that says, kind of. I always cheat on these. Well, it's and fine. make them real visible. So I was uh, I didn't say this uh, when we decided, but uh, I think that this game is a modern masterpiece. I think it's one of the best games ever. Yes. You are not alone in that opinion. Um, it never got any of the credit it deserved. Really? It's a really good people, game. People say pretty good things about it pretty often. It kind of came and went. I, I think people forgot about it, which is uncool because... Oh, here we go. Starship Nostromo. That's Sigourney Weaves. Yeah. Ray. She's she's aging like wine. The other members of the crew. I'm not going to comment on that. You better not. <laughs> Don't you even try to comment on that. That opinion is 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 the rule of law. Oh man, which one was I? I was I was Lambert. Ash. They all died. Yeah, I was. Dallas. What like your like your your Oh, what's the term? The sin cargo. Oh, destroyed. what is it? Sin path. Your sin path was Lambert <laughs> yes. from uh, from Alien One. Yes. With a little luck. And, and now I'm his ghost. That's cool. what makes it spooky. Awesome. Yeah. I'm spooky. This, is this isn't Phoenix, right? What the hell? Uh, Jeff, just just go back to the Settle start down. of the episode, down. and then and we'll be waiting for you to go back and then come back to the front. It's this is the sequel to Alien One. You would think it's aliens. You would think wrong. You would think wrong. Uh. Yeah, it's 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 good. It's a good one. We played Danielle and I played this when we were trying to stream together, and we played like two hours of it. And I I wasn't having the best time just because I was Ripley. waiting to get jump scared, and it doesn't really happen. This, yeah, isn't, no. really, this isn't a jump scare game. It takes yeah. a while, which is why it's I'm good. Samuels. How dare you, sir? Yeah. What? How dare you? It's true. How dare you? That's that's Ripley's daughter. It's about your mother. She's a badass. We think we may have found her, Amanda. I my mouth opens. My mouth eye. does weird Is things. Is it clear that I am not human? I, 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 I'm lip syncing to this. Howdy, not howdy, very howdy. well. Is this supposed to be a Michael Fassbender? Yes. Oh, okay. Would you awkward? He's a Where? Fassbender model. Michael Fassbender has a scary face because whenever he smiles, it looks like he's in pain. Yeah. I think I've said that a few times before. He, well, he's always in a little pain yeah. because of all of that tremendous acting talent he has to carry around all the time. He doesn't believe in banks, so he literally has to carry his money everywhere he goes. Does he really not believe in banks? <laughs> yes, Jojo. He really doesn't believe in banks, and he really carries his money everywhere he goes. Wow. You dumbo. Rich people are crazy. He believes in... Oh, I don't know. He might not believe in banks. <laughs> I mean, I made an assumption that he believed in banks, but really... Mm. Everyone's so sweaty. Well, it's hot and gross in the future. That's what I like about Alien. So hot the, and gross. The future is disgusting. And in, de- As in metal. should be. And raining all the time. Yeah. That's the one thing I know about space is it's raining all the time there. Yes. Correct. Yeah. That is factually... Objectively, Neil deGrasse Tyson y correct. I've been getting a lot of uh a lot of news stories in my Google feed about how the space is filled with like there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot of black hole stuff happening. Mm-hmm. Black uh, hole sun? Uh won't you come, won't you come and wash away the rain? <laughs> no. Oh. See you see what I'm talking about? Oh man. Yeah. Soundgarden had it. Yeah, they did. Whatever happened to them? And why didn't it happen soon? Well one of them died. Well good. Chris <laughs> Cornell died. <laughs> Christopher Navarro died. Jojo, no. good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Dave Navarro has a show. He's he has a tattoo show. Who's What's Dave it called? Navarro. Is it son? No, there is no Dave Navarro. Oh, Man, I'm confused. Daniel, you gotta Wait. stop doing that. <laughs> okay, no, wait, I was right. It's Chris Cornell and Dave Navarro. Okay. Yes, Dave is Chris Navarro. Cornell still alive? No, he dead. Okay, oh, they're good. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> 
I keep saying good. I don't mean good. I just keep saying it. Oh, good. Uh, that's not. It's not a good. And we just lost ten subscribers. Good job. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ding, dang, uh, let's dong. sign in. Beep, beep, boop. Welcome. I got a story. I'm going to explore the torrents, I you guys. Too, it. I'm looking. Well, Daniel, I've been busy okay, how making about this? coffee. We'll read the first two paragraphs of each of our stories okay. and decide. Okay, guys. Oh, so, 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 yeah, go ahead. Joe. So, yeah. uh, so, this game is a very slow burn, which is what makes it a good horror game, but blah, also blah. makes it not super great for the dynamic fun of JoJo mic. Has Fun. Mm -hmm. And so, in traditional we're bored mentality, <laughs> uh, Danielle's going to read some creepypastas. I sure is. Well, we'll see if she's going to read some creepypastas, because I'm going to look up one as well. Suck it. And I'm going to out creepypasta you. Lies. I'm going to I'm gonna out overwrite this data. Okay, cool. All right. My here data! We go. I don't care about your data. No, no one cares about data. Let me get dressed. What am I wearing? What am I wearing? Did Daniel, you just what's, stuff what's yourself in a locker? Costume? No, what's, I'm getting dressed. What's the name of your creepy pasta you found? Um, let's see. Um, a story from the Black Guard. Okay, who is it by? Why are you in the shower with clothes on? Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. You always got it. You, you just, you know, you're always, you're, you're. Yeah. Yeah. That's Holy what hell. I thought. Okay, maybe not because estimated reading time 139 minutes. Wow. Maybe not. We wouldn't finish it. Okay, so fine. Well, okay. It gives you an estimated at, at reading what time. What reading yeah. level? <laughs> <laughs> Which means it would take Is us it like fifth grade? Okay, but here's the thing. Like, we are stopping and talking yeah. throughout it, so That's that kind of drags night. it out. The one that we recorded last night with Kim and Danielle read was probably 14 paragraphs long, but yeah. it definitely took us an hour to get through. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So this one, so maybe, maybe it gives you read time? <laughs> yep. Huh. It's, kind of it's an analytic for stories. Yes. <laughs> cool. It's not I mean, really about the number of viewers you have for your book. It's the read time. This is this is technology at its finest. Is it? Gents. Okay, well. 13 minutes. Uh, boom. Boom. Good. The Melancholy of Herbert Solomon the by Michael Whitehouse. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Michael Whitehouse. Thanks, Michael, Michael Whitehouse. Doing us a service. What if, what if I don't, what if I want, that's well, what I thought. Continue. Go on. <laughs> all right. Were you something like, what if you want a black house or, or green house? I, you was, know what, Jeff? I don't know what I was trying to go for. Was that what you were trying to go for? Was it? I don't know. Let's just move on. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How about that? All right. Okay. Um, Where do I go? <laughs> the Melancholy oh, I of Herbert Solomon, mm -hmm. written by Michael Whitehouse. No, no, no. Dictated by Danielle McManus. Dictated by... <laughs> narrated. <laughs> professionally narrated. You're listening to Audible. <laughs> Friend? On oh. several occasions, my interest in the supernatural has taken me to some of the most prestigious seats of learning in the entire United Kingdom. From the venerable halls of Oxford and Cambridge to the more humble surroundings of inner city colleges and schools, my pursuit of evidence to substantiate such claims has rarely been fruitful. However, while exploring the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, I found a rather... I can't, I can't do Scottish. Scottish. Scotland? You're going to learn a bit about medicine. There we go. That's a, well. This is kind of Irish now. Irish. What do I could do it. <laughs> Fucking shoot. All right. Great. All right. I'm almost. Uh, okay. That's first paragraph. Just is about to end. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the updates. Yep. <laughs> well, because we're competing, are I'm we a not? Uh, I'm giving and you I'm the going reading to tell time. You how to fix you? Aye, uh, laddie. <laughs> okay. In Taylor, Scotland, I found a rather interesting tome hidden away as Irish, in a dark and musty corner of the campus library. The book itself was unusual, its cover bound in a wet, weathered and blackened and leather, which unashamedly wore the wrinkles and cracks of time. It was the Necronomicon. <laughs> it was bound indeed. Bound in human flesh and ant and blood. Ye old <laughs> Necronomicon. <laughs> My old friend. It dated back to the 16th century and seemed to contain various descriptions and accounts of the daily lives of the people of Ettrick. Today? A small, isolated town. Wait, oh, day one. Had a sheep today. <laughs> Our <Day> sheep. Two. <laughs> More sheep. Same sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Different day. Day three. More sheep. <laughs> day four. Kind of a waste to learn how to read and write. <laughs> day five. 
Another ship. This is uh this sounds like <laughs> the, six. the boring cousin of William Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a chance to shear your sheep, would you? <laughs> That was from Brave. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> That's thing. what I should think about when I want to be Scottish. Just think of Brave. I've never seen Brave. It's not bad. It's Brave. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so those were the first two paragraphs of mine. All right. Well, here's the problem is I feel like... Uh, I don't know. There's I, a lot of throat clearing. I want to stay in Scotland, okay, but uh, okay, what, what Daniel, do you got for us, Jeff? Uh, yeah. Daniel, keep reading. It's only 13 minutes long, which All right. for us will be 40 minutes. Yeah. It'll be a good old long time. Big old party. I want to know about these sheep. How the sheep doing? Perusing the volume, there were a variety of entries from a number of authors spanning a 60-year period. It, okay. <laughs> it seemed to have been handed down from the elder, from town elder to town elder over that time, and to be quite frank, most of it contained idle musings on the town's folk and plans for a number of humble building projects and improvements. Just as I was about to conclude that the book was of little interest to me, it opens its eye, its eye on the cover. It's a hocus pocus book. I that that <laughs> fell so flat. Damn it. What was it? Uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I gotta collect my briefing document wherever that is. In your briefs. No. Yeah. Reach into your pants. Yeah. Reach uh, down. Pull. <laughs> is, is this it? If you pull hard green? enough, they'll come out. Don't you have like a little no. thing that can show you where to go? You have like a little... A little mappy? Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, go figure. A padur. Oh, <laughs> dur. <laughs> I'm a gamesman. Yeah, I'm an av- <laughs> average gamer god. <laughs> you were going to leave the room and they were right there. Here's what I like about uh, the... I love the designs of the Alien universe can because like it? all the ships look like... They will just do a bunch of garbage yeah. on top of Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. trash on trash. Yeah. I mean, which is what, that's what I would build Everything's for made ships. with tubes and dials. Yep. Well, it's like in space, it doesn't matter if it's exactly, aerodynamic. Exactly, because there's no, yeah, there's no aero. I love it when they have like like that. Like I love it when there's base. buildings in yes. space. And they just look like somebody picked up a building and threw it in space. Chopped it up first and then threw it in space. Yeah. They nibble a little bit on the side, so it's a little bit messed up. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> they practiced cutting hair on it, and then they put it into space. It's one of those most college. It's a dummy's head. It's beauty college it's a building. dummy heads. <laughs> That's scary. That would be terrifying. Imagine, like, that'd be a thing. They should make a game. Doll like, heads in space. Like, uh, what was it? What's the one with Sam Neill? Um, Event Jurassic Horizon. Park? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the good one. Yeah. This is the oh, bad one. No. <laughs> they should go. They should. You know, he's come back for Jurassic Park three, the, the new one, right? Him and Lord. They Dern. did Jurassic Park three. No, well, Jurassic uh, Park the Fallen, the third Fallen, whatever. Oh, so Jurassic Park six. Yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park six. They're bringing back in the, Sam in the extended JCU. <laughs> it's Jurassic Cinematic Universe. Killing I can't me, wait man. till Thanos snaps them all away. The only reason I'll watch is because Laura Dern. Laura Dern's going to be in it, and Jeff Goldblum. Laura and Dern, don't do me dirty. Will it's Jeff the, Goldblum do something other than sit in a chair? Well, no, he's was he in the other one? Yeah, he was in the second one. Yeah. and I think they only nailed, got him to agree to do it because all he had to do was sit in a. Chair. Yeah, same in Thor. Yeah, well, now, <laughs> no, he did a million things. He stood in up Thor. in Thor. Did he? Yeah, he yeah. Was very active in Thor. But in, in the new Jurassic seeing. Park, he literally, all his scenes were like, you could tell they only had him for an afternoon. Yeah. Well, now I feel like <laughs> Jeff Goldblum and, but, and yet he nailed it. Yeah, yeah well, he likes sitting. He nailed it. He likes sitting. Well, him and him, both Jeff Goldblum and Keanu Reeves are going through the same, like, actress midlife crisis where now instead of doing, because they didn't do anything for mm-hmm. very long, yep. and now they're doing everything. Yes. There's going to be a Disney show called The World According to Jeff Goldblum. You're lying. I would no. watch that. You're lying. No, I'm not. You're a liar to me. No, There's no is, way that's possible. He is. What is he going to, is it like Bill Nye? I don't know exactly. Maybe it's just him sitting in a room, like, giving his Jeff Goldblum sort of views on things. That What's doesn't your... sound like a Disney show. No, right? Well, that, I mean. That, I could see that as Disney, a podcast. Disney now oh, is Oh, there just... was a complode. Oh, oh no. bye. So, My bits. So here's the thing about Alien. Everything goes fine until something goes slightly wrong. And, and then, then it goes everybody dies. real wrong. Just like real space. It doesn't take, like, a big oh, catastrophic no! thing. It's like just like Apollo 13 where one little thing happens. When you're in space, you're F. Yeah. 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 Apollo 13 in space. You're not allowed to get your ticket returned, so just sit through. Yeah. Yep. Just hang out. In space. Like, you get one little, like, tile is loose, and you're, you're effed okay, in so A. Okay, so The World According to Jeff Goldblum is a 2019 American documentary television series presented what? by Jeff Goldblum to be streamed on Disney Plus from November 12th. That what? is absurd. Yeah. That is. We so, have reached we, we gotta absurdity. get Disney Plus. I gotta see that. Yeah. I, I, 
Uh, you get episodes. it, and then we'll watch it from your. Hey guys, it's, uh, it's me. I will Jeff. never give Disney money, except that I always Talk give Disney money because they're huge. And, uh, you yeah. when I was in The Fly? That was a good movie. <laughs> that was, do, that was do, you remember, good. Uh, do you remember when I was uh, the guy in the Jurassic Park? Most people know that. And uh, I was also the, the computer nerd who explained uh, chess in uh, Independence Day. Well, I think also oh, yeah. Independence Day. Uh, forgot resurgence. about Independence Day. Everyone's forgetting about his lengthy stint in the Wes Anderson MU. Really? Yeah. Was he in Wes Anderson movies? Dude, he was in a bunch of Wes Anderson movies. Really? As whom? He as well, obviously as well, but <laughs> he was in um, well, the one with Bill Murray, Life Aquatic. Milbury. Yep, good old Milbury. He was in that one. I think he's been in a couple actually. He's a uh, he's an old standby of uh, Wes Anderson. You yeah. know, you're kind of weird. <laughs> so hang up. <laughs> so you're weird and not a person of color. Be yeah. in the movie. Let's 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 join forces. That's definitely Wes Anderson. <laughs> Even in Fantastic Mr. Fox, somehow. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All, those were the whitest foxes I've ever seen. Yeah, unfortunately. They stole chickens and apples. Yeah, but they didn't salt or season the chickens. Exactly. Or apples. <laughs> because, I, I mean, add. Wes Anderson movies are enjoyable, but they are the whitest fucking, the, oops, the whitest ducking thing it's Ever. great. It's the, the word's been said. <laughs> yeah, I, just I say unsaid fork, it, Danielle. I unsaid it. We, we have we have the power of uh, of Bloop. the good place to guide us. Also, sorry, JoJo, for the episodes that we recorded with Kim last night. <sighs> she, she, she cussed. Went, she, she started went a little it. ham. I know. She's been doing that lately. <laughs> And I've been telling her not to. I like it because she's been like, I want to quit my job. Why can't we make money on this? And now she's also just like, F this. F that, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's why, Kim. That's exactly why. Aww. Clean well, up clean up your voice. Oh, no. What's that? Is it an alien? There's no alien. Oh, I, I know there isn't for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, so I don't, I don't need to go slowly but through don't, this. But don't well, spoil it. Make it all creepy. That's what I... I think when Cower in the corner for a while. I was, we were very much anticipating aliens. Yes, so we were super ca- we were, cautious. We, we were going very slowly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, peeking it, around once, every corner. Once you understand how this game works, uh, very fast. Mm. Says the gamesman who couldn't find the documents. Behind average him. gamer god Jojo. Yes, <laughs> all right. I am the average gamer god. Can you man? Get to the good part, Daniel. All right, all right, okay. But Get to the alpha and the omega. Yeah, there's actually I don't know what or what is happening in this group process so far. So he's just uh, he's at a so he's old smart, school I'm in guessing. Scotland, and uh, he's a ghost hunter. Okay. He picked up this book, and he doesn't think it's interesting. But then something catches his eye. What? What is it? Uh, I noticed on the inside of the back cover that someone had drawn a picture. It was it, a shape. It was a big shape. It looked delicious. <laughs> it sounds like I'm saying shape, I but I'm saying shape. I it so bad. <laughs> oh. oh, get oh, them shears. Look at that shape. Oh, That'll make shares. one heck of a pair of socks. Oh, oh you want to be, sh- be shared, don't you, little sheep? Oh, hey, cool. Gross, yeah. also. Enter, enter stick your little head in there. It's separated. It's good that you can fit in there. Yeah. yeah. It's nice <laughs> if they make these man-sized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so about the sheep drawing. <laughs> <laughs> about the sheep drawing, yes. Uh, it was elegantly depicted, but I would never have described it as a pleasing sight. In fact, my immediate reaction was one of disgust upon first viewing it. Oh, the shit needs to be sheared so bad. Ah, I'm God. disgusted Who by the shit. Who could let this sheep not get sheared? Terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a shame. <laughs> it's an insult is what it is. A it's crime is. against nature. How well, dare you? Insult to God? There wasn't a lot to do in those days, so you had to get overly upset about things that you saw in books. Yeah, yeah. it's like, you know, when people you get upset about... You know how long it take to share this sheep? One cooking of an egg, but no one did it. I fell. Oh, no. I need to talk to the sheep's manager. Wow. Ooh. I really fell. Yeah. Yeah. When you fall, you fall. Yeah. You I'm, really commit. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't break a leg. Method actor here. <laughs> 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 All right, so okay. got, this picture's gross. Yeah. Gross picture. Uh, the combination of the harsh, almost angry black lines used and the stark imagery of the scene as relayed by the artist left me with a thoroughly unpleasant impression of its subject. I shuddered as I cast my eye over it in an attempt to take in the picture of what seemed to be a man, tall, with long, thin arms and legs. Oh, it's a slender man. His face was partially obscured. <laughs> no. <clears throat> his face was partially obscured by one of his gaunt white hands, but what could have been obscured by one of his caught my hands but what could be seen was monstrous but what could be seen was monstrous got a picture of a monster here for a minute you thought the sheep looked monstrous I'm not really trusting this you person. don't trust I don't our really narrator think it was a sheep Jeff that was us oh, <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> With you. We said it was the sheep. <laughs> we just really committed to it. Right. Because <laughs> we're under the assumption it's a sheep journal. It is not a sheep. Okay. But if you are under the assumption that it's a sheep, go ahead. Yeah, it makes it, makes it more interesting. It's a sheep with a long hand. And okay. yeah. Hello? Why does this sheep have <laughs> a... Wait, wait, go back. I don't understand. Why does this sheep have a... What is your name? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's working Joe. Well, that's not you. Average gamer Joe. That's yeah, you. exactly. Joe. That's get Hello? my title right. All right. So not a sheep, some sort of monster. Continue. Not a sheep. Prominent not yet a veins monster. protruded from his forehead, leading up to a pallid bald head. His eyes were set deep into his skull, and the surrounding woods seemed to twist and lean away from him fearfully. <laughs> it, this this is not Slenderman. I don't, I'm not I, I sound, pretty sure it's it not Slenderman. It sounds very Slenderman. It sounds very Slenderman. You see Slender. I I I I. But the, but you don't see Slenderman's eyes, so that's the distinction. Aha. Yeah. All right. At first, I assumed that the picture was some form of hideous graffiti. <laughs> this book's been defaced. These hooligans with their graffiti in my books. <laughs> Little schoolboys. Can't trust them. <laughs> Little boys. Little boys. <laughs> but at the bottom of the page was inscribed the date of 1578. Oh, well, that definitely means that it's That's been, when it was written. That's definitely, that's what that means. Yeah. You can't you conclude anything that that's else. that's the date, because dates are by four numbers, but it could easily just be someone like, I like these four numbers yeah. in or it this could be, order. It could be someone's, like, yeah, bank yeah. pin. Or maybe someone who, like, really doesn't understand that books don't have passwords. just like, no one's going to get to my book. I know. Here's it's the password. Password protected. One to five. What was the other two? Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Boom. Favorite, favorite phone numbers. Boom. Boom. Protect it. Old time. Good time. It sucks being old. It does. It's hard. Continue. <laughs> this and, is um, the episode of us doing what we think <laughs> of Scottish accents. <laughs> People are going to get so mad. <laughs> I apologize to anyone Scottish or Irish. Don't apologize to the Irish. It's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> They're my ancestors. Jeff. Uncool. <laughs> I am. I am a. I'm offended. I'm an ava- I'm, I'm an advanced Irish person. Yeah, is what I am. An AI. <laughs> 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 we have fun here. We're having fun. Oh God. Okay. 1578 and a rather unusual name, Herbert Solomon. That's not that unusual. No, it's not too bad. Whether this was the name of the menacing figure in the drawing or of the artist, I did not know. Disturbed yet complete. Oh. Disturbed yet compelled by that dark woodland scene, I decided that the book required for this study. I desired greatly to know who this creature was, and why someone felt the need to draw and capture his strange form in a drawing. A drawing at the back of a book otherwise used to record the lives of the townsfolk. Maybe he was a townsfolk. He's a townsfolk. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of not that weird. No, that's kind of obvious. Oh, I also I forgot that there's also, like, other things aside from aliens in here. Oh, there's peeps. Kill you. There's oh, peoples. well, they're not going to kill me now. They can't catch me. Yeah. Can't catch me. On closer inspection, what surprised me further was that the same image seemed to recur elsewhere in the book, but drawn apparently by different individuals. I like to think that it's, like, a flip book. So yeah, like it, you. Just, yeah, the man comes when I flipped like, it, it looked like it turned its back to me and then took a pee pee <gasps> on the elephant of the Republican Party. Bastard! Not in like Calvin of <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes. This is a modern Scottish man. <laughs> what? How do you know he's Scottish? What? In, <laughs> in in the scenario where he's the new Calvin peeing on things. Oh, is he pu- not? That you put on a car decal. Wait, I thought our narrator was Scottish. No, he is. He, okay, never mind. Oh, <laughs> we're all we've, we've gotten entangled in our numerous narrative. In our lore, continue. Yes. Within the book, I found numerous mentions of Herbert Solomon, and it became uh, clear quickly that he was indeed the emaciated man in the picture. He had lived in the 16th century on the outskirts of Ettrick Etrick Town. It was a small and underdeveloped place, surrounded on all sides by the thick cover of Etrick Forest, which itself sat in the midst of a vast region of southern moorland. Cool. The town had a small parish church with one humble steeple 
an inn normally used by those traveling through the unforgiving countryside, and quaint cobbled streets which wound their way around the stone cottages and town hall. A lot of world building in this. Yes, it atmosphere, man. Yeah, atmosphere. just like this game. <laughs> exactly. We're like, this game takes a long time to get let's, to the point. Let's well, read I something mean, that takes a long time. <laughs> I really, you know, what's weird is like I like going, th- I like just be walking around here. It's fun. It is. Like this is just it's fun. It's a fun to do. environment. According to the descriptions in the book, during the December of 1577, children began to disappear from the town. They were going out to the fields, and the then shape. we would just ignore them. And then when we wouldn't see them again, we'd go, Oops. What happened? <laughs> let's, let's write that in the book after the daily sheep yeah. update. That's quite a story, mate. <laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, daily sheep update. <laughs> People be asking me, Billy, DSU, how are you able to afford so many fine sheep? Well, you have to diversify your revenue streams. What if the sheep market crashes? <laughs> what if the sheep run away and join the circus? Wait, there's a number on the wall. What's that number? 437. Cool. It means nothing. Oh. I know. Boo. 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 Boom. Let's let's do let's play the lottery. Yeah. Two one seven. Um, or whatever. Like you need more numbers. Nope. Just nope, those four. Just those. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me how to win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shut your mouth. All I do is win. 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 This win, is a winner win. right here. Winner. Oh, it's locked. Win. Oh, I wasted my flare. <laughs> oh no! Ah, dang it! You ever get to a locked door? You're just like, damn it! You're so angry. You open a flare. <laughs> it's just like, ah, I'll melt this door. It happens more than you think. Yeah. <laughs> I like the drawing on the right. Hold on, go back. What one? Go to the. Look to your left. <laughs> no mans. No mans. <laughs> no, don't come in. No. No. Mine. Uh, okay. Children began to disappear from the town. The first was a young girl by the name of Alana Sutherland. <laughs> Alana. Alana. So she's, she's gone. Alana. Alana. Ow, sheep, I got hurt. Sheeperland. So we lost Alana. She's we gone. We lost Alana. She had been playing with some friends by an old well on the outskirts of the town. But it dropped a small toy down it accidentally, which had caused her much distress. <laughs> my toy! I lost my toy! <laughs> me toy! Me, me toy. toy sheep! Papa! Papa! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> <laughs> Unable to retrieve it, she returned home to borrow some string and an old hook in the hopes of being able to fish the doll out of the water below. That's an idiotic that plan. That is exactly <laughs> what you don't do. She was the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's she just say she tried to shear a sheared sheep. Oh, <laughs> fuck. It was the end of her. That was her demise. Her downfall. The downfall? She was addicted to the shear and she was. Oh, I thought you were talking about when she went to go get the fish, she died. <laughs> or get, get the fishing equipment. Uh, I think she does. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Falling down the well. That was a downfall. Yeah. That was <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she was dumb, dumb. <laughs> so this child was stupid. No one cares about her. You deserve to die. You're stupid. She was last seen walking towards the well just as the sun set. Walking off into the sunset like like a cowboy <laughs> on his last Cowboy or eat trip. Okay. Walked into the into the into the the murky sunset. The yeah. moors. What the do they have in What do they have in Scotland? Merc. Merc. The merc. <laughs> the merc. Well, what's going on here? Just looking at stuff. It looks like you have a lightsaber on your right side. That's, I want that to be the new oh, Slenderman. Building the merc. things. I can build a medical merc. kit. The merc. New Slenderman. New Slenderman. The merc. He just kills you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Merc do? Just kills you. He just kills you. He's That's just, pretty scary. Yeah. What's the lore behind him? He's, he's just not. Like a, he's just, like, he's a, just a dude. like a jerk. He's just real <laughs> mad. He works at Panera. He's really upset <laughs> because you keep asking for tomato soup when they're out. They're yeah. Out. You drove but him. you always ask. Yeah. He's also the guy that like when you go to the drive through at fast food restaurants and then he sees that there's a sign that says they're not accepting credit cards today. He, will, he will try. Oh, he will try. And also he's boxed in now because there's a car behind him and a car in front. And he just wants to go, but he can't. So he's going to take it out on. Oh, yeah. yeah. It yeah. just pushes him over the edge, you yeah. know? Pushes him one step closer to the edge. And he and got then he's going to break yeah. everything we say to him. <laughs> in a panic, the townsfolk <laughs> searched. They dredged the well, they combed the wheat fields, and even sent several groups of those willing into the surrounding woods. Anyone willing to go into the woods? <laughs> Who no. wants to go to the woods? No. no. We tried. Let's Nine. just say we sent several. <laughs> 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 Alas, the girl was not found. 
despite the brave townspeople in the woods. Yeah, they're really just D- jerking themselves we off. We broke our arms trying <laughs> to jerk ourselves about how brave we were. So brave. I faced a sheep. I'd eye. Right eye. Just right, right in its eye I looked. I think this is when we got to yeah, climb through something. <laughs> or jump on top of something. There, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Gently push it back. Yes. <sighs> I mean, there's monsters. Delicate equipment. It is pretty delicate, yes. Um. Okay, all right, all right. A few days later, a young boy by the name of Eric Kennedy was running an errand for his grandmother. Mm. What was it? Well, it was dark. Her opium was out. Oh, dear. But he had only to take some wool over to the Monroe place. Oh, no. As a way of thanks for the grain they had provided. Oh, who's that man? <laughs> Bye. Bye. So uh, <gasps> our our boy's carrying wool. Yeah, he's he's a uh, he's he's a wool carrying fool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a woolful. Oh boy, he's very woolful. I shouldn't have brought it. I you know I should have. Nope. Yeah, why'd you do that, Daniel? I'm sorry. <laughs> I did this. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, this looks chill. Yeah. <laughs> it's this cold. steam looks chill. It sure does. Listen yeah. here. Anything? Hello? Where's the steam coming from? Exactly. I have not been introduced to the monster. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Monster? Hello? Mr. Alien? Mr. Monster? Mr. Alien, hello, it's me. Look, Look at my please. Casio. That's a really nice one. I know. It has a calculator It's a in dual it. face Casio. Though that's not cheap. No, those are super expensive. Yeah, yep. You can update it if you plug it into the internet. But you they cost a lot of wool. So oh, God, so much wool. I'm out. I got it. I had to shear all my sheep several times. Even though, <laughs> even though once you shear it once, it's kind of like yeah, it's kind of it. But I, I tried anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we should um, try, you know. I did, you know. You miss it's all the, the shots you don't take. Exactly. Thank you, Wayne Gretzky. Okay, so Eric is gone. Um, he went to Monroe, and he got got. Do we know by what? Um, probably by the wool he was carrying. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He got wool shanked. <laughs> he just got, he, well, he was so happy with his purchases or his, his money. He was like, like, peace out. I'm never going back. <laughs> Suck it, grandma. This is my future. I get, I'm an I'm a independent I'm a, man I'm now. I'm a wool selling boy. I'm a man now. Oh, that's bad. What? Fell. Uh, okay. okay. Well, there once you you're done with your Daniels, I have the next one we're going to do. And it's video game related. Ooh, that excellent. That sounds fun. Yeah. Wait, right. is okay. it Godzilla 1984? That what? would be good. Okay, because I've read that one. This is the um, Ben is dead Majora's Mask one. Oh, okay, well. Let's, <laughs> let's continue to hear Daniel's. Yeah. Okay. Daniel, continue. It was assumed that at least the center of the town would be safe, but the boy never completed his errand. He vanished as if he were torn from existence. Poof. Who talks like that? Yeah. Poof. 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 Is the, is, is the 16th century we talk like this? But... <laughs> By the end of January, an unusually bitter winter had caused significant damage to the town and its people. Large, thick sheets of ice and snow covered each house and building. Several people died from the cold alone, and the general mood of Ettrick was a somber one. Mm. I'm feeling so dang somber today. We were, we were down. Uh, oh, so put, down. Uh, quick, put, uh, let's watch some reality TV and sit under a couch blanket. <laughs> Um, <laughs> couch sitting blanket. Under, <laughs> sitting under the whole couch is probably a bad idea, yeah. but the blanket's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's a blanket made from couches. It's a it's couch fiber with a blanket. Look, I, I didn't think through <laughs> the purchase. Uh, it just seemed warm. Look, when you're when you're flying in the air and you have SkyMo, you just buy whatever you want. It's yeah. true. Yeah. They they give you the internet access and they expect you to use it. Yeah, you get home and you got a noise. Couch blanket waiting for you. Yeah, your accent is all over yep, the place. Yep, it is. And so, <laughs> so you watch the Real Sheepwives of Scotland. Real Sheepwives of Scotland. That's not a thing, is it? It is. It's the 15th century. It's a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're doing a bit. Oh. <laughs> Fine. I'll accept it. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk right by. Gimme. I'll take that. Gimme. <laughs> Could right. be a little bit nicer to him. Jeez. He's dead. Yeah. I'm really chill about all this. <laughs> She's like, making very my way calm. to work. Saw very. a body. Stole his stuff. And I'm it home was, bound. There was a lot of blood. It was all right. All I right. used a big wrench. All right. Okay. Despite these trying times, the townspeople were more concerned with the safety of their offspring. In total, seven children had now disappeared without rhyme or reason. 
Whole families wept and sp okay. For seven children of a village to die. That's the whole village. What? Well, in the in in the in the fifteen hundreds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which? That's normal. Yeah, no, no, no. But like, that's no, a normal like, casualty. After the age of two. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, if you die, if you don't die in the first year, you have at least ten years to yeah. go. Maybe. I mean, there's typhus, there's cholera, there's. But all I mean, the... they all died from like disappearance, right. though. That's a little bit different. I guess yeah. it's a little different. If someone dies of like smallpox theria, you see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If yeah. someone dies from just not existing anymore, you're like, huh. Oh, that's pretty strange. That's a head scratcher. That's a that's a that's a mite odd. This is gonna affect our census for the year. <laughs> We're gonna have to report this on our taxes. We're gonna lose our, our representative oh, no. in Congress. Here we go. Uh oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. it's a cut <gasps> oh. Oh. oh Space Gun. Bad man. Okay. Okay. I can't oh. help but notice you're uh, just trying to make your way downtown, walking fast. Oh, <laughs> it's our... It's our so Baldman. Have you uh, noticed that I am the most generic of character models in the game? My name is... Uh, file not found. Oh, he has an <laughs> accent, too. This guy has an accent. No, he doesn't. There's no ships here. Yeah? He oh. Are you accent well, blind? Huh. I think he is. Yeah. Because things are not so good here. So oh, is this the man? Is this is this our guy? Is this, <laughs> our, is this, this our guy? Our guy. <laughs> oh, sweet! He's like, oh, I, I love sheep this game. <laughs> I can't find it. I can't find my sheep anywhere. Space sheep. The least of our problems. What? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have a gun on her? I know, <laughs> like, right? What's your plan? You I'm a I'm a shooter. Like what? A killer. You get it? Oh, okay. maybe he doesn't, uh, he doesn't think he doesn't know what's killing be like, people. It's a uh, it's an alien. Yeah. It's an alien. But no one knows it's an alien yet. What's your name? I mean, yes, I see something so, dead. I mean, my immediate assumption is alien. I was boarding with that, or you're in space. I mean, yeah. Well, not just anywhere. Yeah. Like, I saw, like, a dead bird outside. Yeah. And I was just like... <laughs> alien. Alien. This. Alien doubt it. I know people are always saying there's no proof aliens exist. And I'm like, look at the dead squirrel. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at the pyramids. Look How at this photograph. Think? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Every time I do. Ah! <laughs> I know I can trust you. I She's sleepy looking. Okay. Yeah. He's still well, in my she's, tired. she's had a hard day. She has had a hard day. Or night. I don't know. Space is weird. Give me back my hammer wrench. Can I have this? Thank you. <laughs> this is your lucky day. Is it? Irony. This is your lucky day, my dude. Get the irony? Yeah. Seeks and calls oh, it's not her lucky day. No, it's pretty much the worst thing that could have happened to her. By a wide margin. All right, Daniel, continue. Okay. Well, now that I've got this mofo over here with his accent being all... It's not a contest, Daniel. It is. It is. Channel him. Okay. It's not the fourth annual accent contest. <laughs> Brought to you by Red Bull. Yeah, Red Bull. Get into it. Red Bull. It gives you... Uh, Accents. Yeah. It gives you <laughs> cadence. What? Hey, guys. Hey, okay. Oh, okay. Ah. Hey. Whole families whipped in despair, and the people of Ettrick began to view one another suspiciously. They knew the truth. Someone was taking their children from them. By mid-February, two more had went missing, and accusatory glances were now being shared between every family and every, memory of every member of the community. The town elder decided to act and took upon himself the arduous task of identifying and catching the fiend. So they're, they're, they're trying to find what takes the kids. Yeah. They find and they think, they think it's a guy? They think it's a man. They think it's the spooky man. Oh, they don't think it's a spooky man yet. Well, we well, we know. We know. We actually, know. all the townspeople are currently accusing each other. Yeah, well, cool. they should. That's what you would do. That's you how took the kids. I can tell by all the kids you have. <laughs> yeah. Looks like somebody all of a sudden came into a big. You load lost of your kids. kids, so you tried to take mine. <laughs> <laughs> Seems Stop weird. Crying. You just have a bunch of kids around your house now. That's weird. Huh. Can't help but notice all the shoes by your door. <laughs> <laughs> What's you're your explanation? Oh, you you really like shoes, eh? Put them on. Put them on. <laughs> <laughs> if the help. shoe doesn't fit, you took my kit. I'm a shear, you know. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> all right, what's next? All right. Bureaucratic discussions we ha were had. Church groups convened. And in every house, in every street, in every corner of Ettrick, one name crossed the lips of its inhabitants. Herbert Solomon. The more the name was mentioned, why did I go British? The more, the more the name was mentioned, damn it. The, the more certain his guilt became. Uh, Herbert Solomon was an outsider. 
He lived in a small wooden cabin amongst the woods which surrounded the town. And due to his unfortunate parents, tended to avoid human contact. <laughs> he was gross. He, he smelled was, bad. Yeah. He was an ugly one, he was. He would post his political views on Facebook. <laughs> what? A, no one uses Facebook. Not in the past. <laughs> Herbert. <laughs> you fool. Why don't you use Facebook? Doesn't exist yet. Oh. oh. That's. I guess Ach. that's a good enough reason. <laughs> It's a pretty easy explanation. Yeah, too easy. Is it easy. convenient that you don't use a thing that isn't invented yet? Very convenient. Very convenient. Get down. This oh, jeez. Uh, oh, bad man. Don't worry, they're, they're in trouble. They're a bad man. Go in the butthole. I can't. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it won't let me. Not for moral reasons, I just can't. Moral reasons. The butthole. Well, you use me, the butthole for moral reasons. Do. No, you use it for moral reasons. It's God's loophole. All right, I'll follow you in the butthole. All right, I don't really like you that much, but let's go. Oh man, now you can double butthole it up. Oh yeah. Double, yeah. Double, double, double. Show me double that boo. Hole. All right. So okay. what happens next? Did so they we find got Herbert? ugly man Herbert in the woods. He stole the kids. Maybe. Friends maybe stole yours. all the kids. What his malady was, no one was sure. Like and in the unenlightened times of the 16th century Scotland, many believed that he was cursed. Modern eyes would have guessed him to be the victim of a wasting disease. Some people think that he was a victim of the ugly stick being used to beat him over the head. <laughs> they used it very liberally on him. <laughs> they had to put a pork chop around his neck to get the kids to play with him. Oh, I haven't heard that oh, one in a while. Awful. <laughs> that's really bad. That's how he lured the children? Yeah. Pork chop around pork his neck. Chop. Everyone loves a good chop. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves a good chop. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> he rarely ventured into town except on a few occasions to trade for supplies, and even in those in instances, he covered his face with a brown tarnished hat. Uh, oh, he, uh, he's and just walking around with a hat on his face. <laughs> I know that's no, what like I was. He, no, he pulled it down, but he's just got it. In his oh, I'm invisible. <laughs> he's got like two eye holes poked in his hat, and he Not just holds it in his face. Not a ghost. <laughs> Okay, so he hides his face with a brown tarnished hat and a piece of grey cloth, okay. which okay. obscured his features <laughs> below two deep we set of darkened eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Several of the townsfolk told stories of Herbert Solomon. According to those accounts, he would stand on the edge of the forest, watching the farmers till their, till their land <laughs> and their children play in the fields. It was his fascination with children which left many feeling uneasy. Some of the town's children returned home from playing near the woods with, an, with on a number of occasions with beautifully crafted dolls and toys. They were a present from Herbert Solomon, and being innocent children, they could not know the dangers therein. When the children began to disappear, eyes immediately... Whoa, I went southern. Eyes immediately... <laughs> British... I immediately <laughs> He's going all over the place. I was immediately turned to the strange man living in the woods. Accusations were carried by the whispers of the fearful parents, as well as the whisper. Uh, he's no. creepy. He's so ugly. He's gross. Why he's a he page so one rewrite. I thought I was ugly. I'm pretty. <laughs> They're all just doing like your mama jokes, but it's towards him. <laughs> Herbert Solomon is so ugly. How ugly is he? He sat on a skittle and rainbows popped out. That's <laughs> that doesn't work, Danielle. That's not how those work. That was wrong. That was just wrong. Here's, but here's the thing. I like that you had that in the forefront of your mind. Uh, yep. I wish that it was relevant to the thing you said. <laughs> it was relevant. What are you talking about? How do, I, how do I reload my flashlight? Um... <laughs> How do you reload your flashlight? It's a good question. I mean, you gotta, you don't want to, you don't want your I'm flashlight to die. Does it. I'm trying. Press all the buttons. I'm pressing all the buttons. Don't shoot your friend. Are you pushing down on the, the sticks? Oh, uh, oh that sounds, nope. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Uh, nope. This is the real creepypasta. No. All right. Uh, hang on. We'll quit. <laughs> oh, keep going. What's, what happens next? Okay. They're talking about Herbert. And it's decided that Herbert Solomon must be stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Get the pitchforks, laddies. Oh, they're Light going the after fire. Him. Is this ramping up now? Are we coming to the end? We're about to have a bonfire. Sweet. Uh, full of Herbert uh, Solomon. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I, like a, I like a good chop. I like a good chop. I'm going to tie his chop around my neck. <laughs> 
I missed that one up though. I said that they, they put a pork chop to get the kids to play with them. Really, it's the pork chop to get the dog to play with them. No, but that was better because he kids. lures the children. Yeah, and kids love chops. And kids love, love chops. chops. Yeah, love them. That's how like, I get all my friends. My dad would be like hanging with me outside. I'll be all alone. He'd be like, "Hey, here's a few chops. Go beat some. Here's some. Here's some raw meat. Go make some friends. Go talk to the kids downtown. <laughs> Walking fast. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> Faces passing. I don't remember the ly- lyrics to that song. On a cold February night, the elders of the town dis- decreed that Solomon should be arrested immediately. We decree. We decree it. Come out, you Dougley bastard. <laughs> Dougley? <laughs> like dog ugly? Dougley? Dudley. Dudley do right. That's his name. He does right. He doesn't do right, though. That's why we well, got to kill him. That's, a, that's, that's why we're going to light him on fire. Oh. Yeah. Just those that want to stay Grief, us. anger, resentment, and fear grew to a fever pitch. With this news, and every man and woman and child set out across the fields, Toilet. entering that's into the surrounding show. forest in search of the child killer, Herbert Solomon. Details of exactly what occurred that night are limited, but it seems as though the people of Ettrictown yeah, attempted to remove Herbert from his small cabin by setting it on fire. Huh. Boom! Yeah. Called it. So they're just going to burn him down? Nailed it. He's gonna, they're going to smoke him out. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to throw some 420 blazes in the window. That's so right. Like, Hot boxer! <laughs> then he's like, I'm too high right now, guys. Oh, I got to get I out of here. I can't go. Blaze it! <laughs> <laughs> this was the origin of Blaze It. Yep. They 420 blazed him. Thanks, right Herbert. Out. Good job. Uh, Okay. The crowds cheered as the heat grew and the fire rose. We love fire. (laughs) Fire is great. Fire is life. (laughs) Beep, 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 boop, boop. And there was a robot. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No one knows where the robot came from. His cries echoed throughout the woods, finally to be silenced by the flames. The townsfolk believed that justice had been done. And while the grief of the parents whom had lost their children... I think it's parents who had lost their children. Yeah, yeah they, so they, they lost their children. The parents who had lost their children could never be quenched. There was at least the satisfaction of knowing that the man responsible was now dead. But was he? But was he? He was. However, <laughs> over the following few days, an unease descended upon the entire town. We killed a man. <laughs> it might. I mean, it it it, 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 it tracks. <laughs> Stories began to spread of strange encounters in the streets at night. A gaunt, shadowy figure prowling the cobbled stones, hiding in the darkness. Within a week, numerous residents claimed to have woken up during the night to the petrifying sight of an unwelcome visitor. Now he's... Hello! 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 How do you do that so Scottish? Ha- ha- Hello! No. That's... Hello! 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 Hello. Hello. No, it's British. Hello! Hello! Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm thinking of just like dwarves right now in uh, World of Warcraft. Right? Oh, I was thinking of Lord of the Rings. That too. Same thing. They're, they're always the exact, Scottish. They're Why the are they same always dwarves? Same dwarves. Same exact dwarves. Yes. All always, always Scottish. That's that's what that's what the Brits think of Scotland. All right. Well, we've got 17 minutes left. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing just fine. One account was of an elderly lady who woke up to the sound of something rustling under her bed. Only oh, damn it. Oh, I, I, oh. Went, I went the wrong way. No, you, you got got. Job. Whoops. My bad. Something was under Sorry. your bed. I like how the, the, the hints at this screen are like, if you hear the alien, I'm just like, what alien? <laughs> yeah, as far as I know, I'm just walking through a, a busted out spot. If yeah. this wasn't called alien, if they just called this isolation. I would have no clue. No, the alien would be a big surprise. Yes. It is a pretty big shock. Do I have a flashlight anymore? Oh. Well, we played it before, Danielle and I. We finally got to where the alien was, and we had been playing for like two and a half hours at that point. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was just like, do it! Kill, kill me. me! Kill me! And it kills you pretty easily. Yeah, oh, yeah. He, yeah. It, he does not screw around. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, all right. All right, you said it. All right, so old That's lady, cool. thing under her bed. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, only di- uh, she nearly dies of shock as a thin, tall man pulled himself out from underneath. She fainted, but not How before. How did that get down there? I didn't put that there. It's so low. <laughs> How low did it go? One of those IKEA, <laughs> IKEA things that just folds up under your bed. Wow. <laughs> IKEA man. It's so convenient. IKEA man, the new Slender Man. Oh, IKEA man, the new Slender Man. You can't say his name. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't think it. 
It's the bye bye man. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. It was terrible. I like the boy boy man. It's, it's better when you say it with that accent. The boy boy man. Sounds <laughs> like you're saying boy boy man. Yes. It, does, it sounds like you're talking about Nambla. It's the boy boy man. It's the bye bye man. Boy boy man. Don't say it. Don't think it. <laughs> bye bye. That's always a thing. It's like we watched the movie The Midnight Man. What the heck is that? It's about a man at midnight. Oh. I'm trying to even remember what that was. That about. was where like they play the game. Oh right, yeah. and they summon the midnight. They summon man. the midnight man, but it wasn't just midnight. So that was that was misleading. It it starts at midnight. It starts at midnight. Ah yeah, yeah. but it's it goes. But it until goes what, for a while. Question marks. Yeah, he's got he's got well, endurance. That's well, that's the thing is a lot of horror movies. He now. took one of those rhino pills from the gas Strunk station. Drunk some Red Bull. <laughs> you know took a rhino about? pill. Yeah, I know the ultimate about. male oh, yeah. engorgement. Pill. Everyone knows what you're talking they about. They say engorge. Yeah. Oh, if yes. Enlargened. Embiggened. Embiggened. A Engorged. noble spirit embiggens the smallest man. <laughs> <laughs> Silver tongue. <laughs> Just okay, she's she scared. She fainted. Uh, but not before she saw his face. A withered complexion as if ravaged by disease. His eyes blacker than the night. And his hands comprised of tightly sponged skin over a bony interior. I understand. He's thin. I was going to say, like, that's what all hands are. Yeah. Skin, skin over bones. bones. It was disgusting. <laughs> he had, skin? on the end of his fingers, these hard pads <laughs> with which he used to scratch. You mean fingernails? No. I, <laughs> that's what we called them, too. And upon him were drapes of cloth that dangled down around his grizzled form. You mean clothes? I, I, <laughs> I suppose if you want to split hairs about it, yeah. Oh, you also had that okay. long dead split skin hairs. cells and other cells coming out of his head. They moved like hair. snakes? Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, your hammer. <laughs> make anything sound terrifying with, like, a grizzled Scottish accent. Yep. Another story consisted of a local tradesman who, was, uh, who while investigating a noise from his cellar, was confronted by a hideous figure, so tall and gaunt that it had to hunch over to avoid the low ceiling entirely, its sheet-white face flickering in the candlelight. I gotta stop you for one second, because this is a thing that always creeps me out, is when we talk about something... And I scroll through Twitter or Instagram, and all Ooh. of a sudden there's an ad that shows me what we're talking about. I know. What, we were talking about tall, thin people. <laughs> no, we were also talking about things being engorged and embiggened, and now Magnum Condoms is posing as, oh, wow. as a promoted ad. Yeah, I know. It freaks me out a little bit, too, because I've noticed that happen. Like, stuff that I've talked that about. That would be a creepypasta. It would be a good creepypasta. Yeah. Like... Well, it just starts recommending stuff for you to, like, kill your girlfriend. Yeah. And you're oh, like, man. what? We just I'm not going to kill anybody. And it's, uh, then it's recommending stuff for you to, like, defend yourself from being killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Creepy pastas are awful and horrifying, but good. But good. Okay. Sheet white face, flickering candlelight. Um, A noble spirit. <laughs> the brave man. The man managed to escape, but he refused to re-enter his premises. It became clear to the townspeople that the vengeful ghost of Herbert Solomon was watching, was searching for other victims from beyond the grave. His hate and hideous form haunting the town which murdered him. With each patching, patching, with each passing day, the sightings grew in intensity and number. A fog descended on the town. Hey, we just went Stephen King. And the, the people, the mist is here, and the people wept and grieved as the sound of Herbert Solomon terrorized each person night by night. He was seen wandering around amongst the wheat fields in cellars and lofts of cottage houses, his long, gaping footsteps ringing out. Gaping, gaping footsteps? Gaping footsteps? Now scroll through Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I turned the microphone permissions off. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You, can, you can just deactivate it? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to go do that. Um... His long, gaping footsteps ringing out each night through the forests of Ettrictown. Bong, bong, bong. Gape, 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 gape. gape, gape. <laughs> they had been cursed. In the life, in life, Herbert Sullivan had taken and murdered their children, and now in death, he seemed to possess the twisted means to terrorize the entire town. Is it? Yeah. Where am I trying to go? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think that's. Yeah. Is it where I came this from? Where you came from? Well, where am I? Uh. Oh, I guess I just need to go to the cargo hangar. Yeah, because remember you came out right here. Then the unthinkable happened. Another child went missing. 
A young orphan girl? I, I thought that. <laughs> you saw that coming? Well, I mean, that's all that's been happening. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are going away. <laughs> not that weird. Kids going away? It's natural. Yeah. Nature. Nature's, uh, nature's, nature's best. <laughs> oh, oh my God! They have this tiny little village, and there's a young orphan girl who wanders the streets because she can't find a place to sleep at I night. I like to pick rags. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sleep in your garbage? Anyone want to buy some nails? I found. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dance for you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see the dance. What? That <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> that is what it was. <laughs> All right. The past is filled with nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I have a I'm missing a few bones <laughs> <laughs> You wanna buy a bone? <laughs> would you care would you care for a finger? Oh it's oh, all I need three <laughs> It's all it's all Susie okay. No Bones McAllister <laughs> She haunts the streets They call her Susie No Bones because she had no bones. <laughs> she gave them all away. It was also the name of just like a prostitute down the street as well. <laughs> They're fighting over the name rights. Like, <laughs> I'm Susie No Bones. No, I'm Susie No Bones. I'm Susie No Bones. Can't have it. It's mine. Oh, here we go. Sweet. Okay. Ready. On three. Uh-oh. One, two, three. Do it. Eight. Oh, this, it's that nice that it didn't make you actually try. No, <laughs> that was not. Oh, no. Axel. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Ouch. oh, uh, I gotta save him. <laughs> oh, whatever. I was just watching, you know. Uh, don't hurt Axel. He's my friend. <laughs> yeah. Smash. I hit him real hard. Oh, oh Axel, dude. That was that was a little much. That was unnecessary. Damn, dude. The others are on their way. Can I loot him? Oh, I thought you were talking about Axel. I was like, well, now they heard you, you dumbo. Oh, great. Run! You uh, fool. I can't loot him. Move it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Move it. Oops. Well, you guys have guns too. Seriously, you what are you gonna use against me? Harsh language. Oh, hey. That. Uh oh. You killed that guy because he was going to kill me. You saved my life. I love you. Now let's have a kiss. I, that's what I thought rain. was about to happen. He's like, I like your headset. Are you a streamer? How many followers? How many followers? You need no, at least subs. ten concurrents to say to walk with me. I hear something. Oh boy. Oh no, is this an alien? Axel, no. Oh. What have I got on me? Oh, Axel, did you have a little jizzeroni oh. on yourself? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Where did it come from? There was nothing behind it. Oh, it came from the there. hole. Wow. That alien can really squeeze in. Yeah. Yep. Well, what? alien sure. sighting one. Alien killed my friend. I don't like it. Well, our friend is a... That's being a bit nice. Well, he was our friend. Desperate now times. he is beef jerky in that <laughs> vent. No, she's got to lay. Well, no, because he didn't even. He's dead. Right, he, he needs to be dried out to be yeah, jerky, yeah, yeah. I guess. Not jerky yet. You gotta salt yeah, him up. Yeah, he's In space, not... no one can hear you. In space, no one can hear you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Eat a Burger King, space Burger King. No, 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 can no, people no, no. hear you? Nom, nom. Do I have to do anything right now, or? There's a lot of green stuff around. Well, I, I hit this. Oh, hello. 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 Uh, okay, so orphan girl who in this tiny village, no Susie one no can bones. see. Gotcha. Su yeah. No Susie bones. Susie no bones. <laughs> um, in the lore of the story that yes, we're making Susie no up. bones. <laughs> I mean, the story is just lore, but we're adding to yeah, it. Yeah, we're yeah. expanding. That's oh, how whoa, lore whoa. works. Whoa, whoa, Oh, wait. Are you about to die? What the? Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't right. know it could kill me here. I wow. didn't either. Oh, it's, it's, it's fine for right now. No, because, uh, well, it is. <laughs> I didn't see the, we didn't see the alien until way yeah. later. Oh, like, my God. It killed me dead. We, like, had to. Oh, you got to go through this part again. Jeez. Oh, oh, no. We have to watch whoa. him die again. That's weird. That was spoopy. Also, that alien was slightly smaller than I I was remember. like, it was really small. Yeah. Did I not see all of it? Because it looks like... <laughs> Daniel, it's not the size of your wow. alien. It looks like the size of a red wagon as opposed to the size of a Volkswagen. I was, that was pretty shocking. First time ever. What are you supposed to do then? I guess you're supposed to be quiet so it doesn't get you. I guess so, but... Uh, Oops. Okay. Oh, man. New things. Wow. I got killed it by the you alien. You got murked. All right. 
So, Kayla Merck. Susie No Bones. Mm-hmm. Who often wandered the streets when she could not find a place to call home for the night. Which was, was orphan because... All the time. Yeah. You can't really be an orphan if you can Suck find to a be place her. to call home. The villagers were awful. Uh, was heard screaming for her life. The townsfolk rushed to their windows. <laughs> <laughs> Just to watch. Not out of their houses Look at her. Hell. She's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> not bugs at all. Okay. <laughs> oh, honey, make the popcorn. The show is on. <laughs> Anyone want to put, want me to sleep in their yard? <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> uh, looking at but not daring to leave the imaginary safety of their houses, paralyzed by fear. The screaming ceased quickly, and moments later, wandering aimlessly out of the fog, came the menacing figure of Herbert Solomon. What? I did not click that ad. You can go straight to hell. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, man. Danielle, are you have a virus now? Fuck, probably. Was it the one like mortgage it's Herbert rates are Solomon. never lower? It's Sir, Herbert Solomon got me. Oh, her- oh, that's the creep pasta. Is every time you try to go to the website, you push an ad, and then it, it comes. To, you you order it. Without yeah. Even wanting to. <laughs> he comes. He comes the next day in an Amazon box. Yeah. Two day delivery of Herbert. Hold eight to skip. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now, just gonna walk. don't run around like a fool. <laughs> Gonna walk slowly. It says reach the transit station. So, uh, transit system. Yeah, it's supposed to go that way. I think. Yeah. I, well, I think this is right. I just think like you're just flailing your arms around and screaming like a buffoon. Well, I, well, that's what was really surprising was it was like I, I remember the first time I ever had to like deal with the alien, and it was not here. Okay, so way later. So Danielle got to the end of the creepy pasta. Is that the end of it? Mm-hmm. Is it this says, the end? And it says copyright statement. Unless explicitly stated, all stories published on creepypasta.com are the property of and under copyright to their respective authors and may not be narrated or performed. You narc? What are you doing? What? What? So, may not be narrated or performed? Yeah, adapted to film, television, or audio mediums. Well, great. <laughs> <laughs> Super. <laughs> Well, we could always put that at the beginning. Might get copyright struck with this one. I don't. I don't think we're in any trouble. Yeah, we don't. We're not popular enough. Okay, that wasn't the end. Well, let's. He's gonna pop down right there. You have to get a high. It's not loading. I don't see it anywhere. I hear music that seems pretty rampy. Oh boy. Um, so should Daniel finish the story? <laughs> well, I don't know now. I'm I'm attempting to, but it's also not well, loading. The one that I was gonna read is also like a classic. Oh, hey, one. I can leave. Ooh, a classic creepy pasta. Yeah. Well, we don't have a lot of time actually. Why did it kill me? Yeah, I don't know because you're. It knew that you suck. Oh. It talked to Herbert Sullivan. Yeah. Well, we only have two minutes and forty seconds left. Yeah. So, so let me see if I can get this to load. Otherwise, we may never know. It knows that we were doing it. It's like you gotta stop. <laughs> you can't. Not allowed. Well, no. Fair use. Uh, the reproduction and copy of photo records for criticism, scholarship, research. So, because we were adding stuff and talking yeah, about it. Yeah, this is scholarship. Yeah. The same thing that allows us to do Let's Plays. Because we wouldn't be allowed to like narrate it as if that was the way to experience it. Right. right. This was not the way to experience that we, story. We weren't, per- <laughs> we weren't performing we, the story. Yeah, no. We were just ripping on it. Yeah, we're hardcore. Fine. <laughs> yeah. We're fine. Okay. Oh, I can access Rewire. Cool. Beep, 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 beep. I got killed. Yeah, you did. That surprised you. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, it really. You were like, "Oh, this game, you don't even see." Ah. Oh! Okay. That's you. All right. Here we go. This is this is this is the this end. Is the finale. This is the end. Okay. In the, so they got it got Susie No Bones. Yeah, Susie No Bones out in the street screaming. Everyone watching. Everyone's just watching so, okay, at the so window. They get Susie No Bones, yeah. and then what happens? Yeah. Actually, did they have windows in the 1500s? Uh, I'm pretty sure like they did. Like panes of glass? Yeah, like glass. Yeah. yeah, probably. Maybe they just stood at a hole and looked. <laughs> <laughs> Daniels. Did they have just look into the distance? <laughs> it feels cold right here, but I can see the road. Yeah, it's, it's drafty. It's, it's a, a drafty. It's a, it's a real... It's a challenge. It's a trade-off. I can't believe I got killed there. Man, I'm not going to let it go. That was so <laughs> shocking. Yeah. I can tell you're not going to let it well, go. Well, it was so weird. You it guys was, were surprised, too. Yeah. It, it was a little alien, too. It wasn't the big alien. That was the alien. It was? That is how but big it was. But it was so small. It seemed small. It seemed bigger. It seemed like the claw that killed Axel was bigger than that alien. Yeah. 
True. Yeah. Oh, hey, person. Stay back. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Guys, over here. Uh, Rut row. Dang it. You ding dong. All right. We only, <laughs> we only have to say it. Dang it. Dang it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. a lot going on. In the preceding days, the fog grew Boop. denser, and with it came the unwelcome news of two more children taken. Mm. One a girl who, after having a rage and argument with her family, left the house never to be seen again. That sucks for her. She because joined, she was like, I'm going. She yeah. just I'm joined gonna, the I'm circus, I'm going to take guys. a motorcycle down to, to Atlantic City. She totally did. She's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she got eaten by a monster. No. Yeah. She's no, she York just doesn't out. like you. She's trying to be an actress. She wants. She has a future ahead of her. Which the makes other, no sense. Yeah. The other, a boy named Matthew, the son of a notable <laughs> drunk... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of drunk. I'm so drunk <laughs> it's actually notable. I drink and ruin my life so much people record about it. They're like, no, you're gonna want to see him. And we're in Scotland. Everything the, about this episode is weird. The standards for drunkenness are really high. Okay. Uh, who was taken by, from his own bed by the hands of Solomon okay. while his father lay unconscious from drink. <laughs> Sorry. During a church service, the unthinkable happened. Oh, uh, I think I know what it was. Yeah, I a think child I, went missing. Yeah, I think I think so. I see the pattern here. You know, I'm starting to get a sense that this whole story is about children going missing and then not a lot happening. Yeah, I think Solomon's a one trick pony. Yeah. I think he might be. He takes the children and that's it. Oh man! Wow, he is <laughs> really oblivious. You, oh, yeah. But How'd he did peg you in the head. Chair? I like that one bullet does you in. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, okay, well, last like paragraph. Last paragraph. Okay. Um, church service. Solomon appeared briefly in the aisles of the church, seemingly unaffected by consecrated ground. Oh. <laughs> Which is not unusual because <laughs> he's just like a guy. <laughs> oh my god! He's invincible! Not even God can kid him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the measles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The congregation whimpered in horror and disdain as his warped... so gross. He's so ugly. Ew. <laughs> Mama. The congregation whimpered in horror and disdain as his warped, spindly form walked slowly behind a pillar and then vanished. What the hell? Go, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go over here. He does that thing where, like, it makes it like he's going downstairs, but he's like just <laughs> going under the. Feet. Yeah, that's so dumb. <laughs> he used magic. He went downstairs, but there was no stairs. And then later he came back, <laughs> removed his thumb, and put it right back. And then he took the pastor's nose. <laughs> We thought he threw it away, but there it was. He pulled a sixpence from behind my ear. <laughs> Do you ever notice that pastor sounds like bastard? I'm just saying. <laughs> That's a... Uh, There's one more sentence. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah. This is the one that makes it scary. Strap in, lads. This is where the twist comes. Boy, lads. It was indeed a show of influence. It was what? A show of influence. I don't know what that means. A show of influence, like Lost or Sounds The Sopranos? Show of influence. He was. He was. Oh, that he could. He didn't matter. Like, got the consecrated ground. Oh, right, 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 right. He's showing his invincibility, and yeah. he's like, "What? What? What?" Is that the last sentence? Yep. That's it. Yep. That's the freaking cream pasta. Yep. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, I swear to God. Sorry. There's a there's a fair amount more. Oh, so like we're not even halfway through this Just story. Get find, find we're, yeah, we're, I think get we're to done, the crux. Yeah, but find, see if you could find the most interesting thing in the next couple graphs. Okay, and okay. read that. So, because so right. far this this entire creep process seems to be narrated from like somebody who doesn't care a whole lot. No, like the person's it's just that, like, yeah, this is pretty boring. I gotta say, this creepy pasta. If I was just reading this, not I would creepy. be really disappointed yeah. with my time. Yeah. All right, so. They chase him out mm -hmm. with a torch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That> is, <yeah. laughs> okay, well, it's like you do. And then he runs away, mm -hmm. and he's flailing, flailing around like a spider. <laughs> 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 the that's a spider the sound. noise. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what we we. That's what we sound like. Yeah. <laughs> Aha! You've revealed yourself. Dang it! That's how everyone knows I'm a spider. Is the noise I make when I flail. <laughs> 
Jojo Lewis, known Spider-Man. Known, known Spider-Man. Spi- <laughs> known, average known spider Spider-Man. I'm a Spider-Man. <laughs> Can he see you? I you hope not. Like, I don't rem- Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. uh, bye. <laughs> I forget this part. I think I died a bunch here, too. All right. I got to get the alien to get him. Now they're chasing him with that weapons. Was like my, that was the thing I would do in this game is like if someone was after me, I would I would make them make noise and then I would run into the alien and the alien would kill them. Oh, Follow my God. Me. This is uh, this author has to be 15 because the townsfolk chase him. Uh-huh. Then they trap him like they got him cornered. Uh-huh. Right. And then Mackenzie. Oh, dang. oh, it's his last name. Never mind. Uh, there was a person named Mackenzie, but I thought, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. Author, you're fine. Mackenzie's, there's a Mackenzie now. Okay. And... I'm dead now. Oh, dang. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, oh I, died in the I thought it was safe in here. Well, dang it. Here, let's instead... Dan- yeah, you think, it, game? Dan- instead of trying to find a good ending, Danielle, just write us your own. Yeah, okay. what do you think? How do you think the story ends? How do you think this should end? All right. So they've got him cornered. The, okay, we're going. We're going with that. They got him cornered. They got their torches. They got their sickles. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's done nothing except been suspicious looking while kids go missing. Yes. Yeah. And then he uh, he uh, they take a sw- they say they take a swing at him. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. He's a ghost. <gasps> can't can't hurt him. Okay. Can't wow. do nothing. Right. So then, uh, then they go home and cry some more. Okay. And more children go away. Okay. So this is just going to be an ongoing problem for this village. Yeah, they're just. This is the the village that loses children. The reality of it's a good vacation spot. It's not really a <laughs> vacation spot for people who don't want to have the kids. That's, Let me see what the actual ending is. I'll just skip. That's straight, not a really good story. Straight to yeah, the this actual was end. Like, if sounds like it was written by somebody who was who found like a time period. That they thought would be interesting in itself to to, to like yeah as a lift setting the story yeah but unfortunately that time period is kind of boring it's kind of limited yeah there's not a lot you could it's more interesting to like for a creepypasta to be modern that's what they usually are supposed to be yeah like this seems more like just this like, is just like a story it's just like a scary kind of spooky story but it's not like a creepypasta there's no when I think creepypasta I think of like Black Mirror. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, yeah, that, those are those are like. You want to you want to know the twist? What's the, What's twist? the twist? Here we go. So, little girl in the river. She's gonna drown. Okay. The townspeople desperately try to pick her up. Uh-huh. They throw branches at her or something. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> they throw rocks at her to try to help her. <laughs> she's scared, but she's alive. Then. The pale-faced, emaciated figure placed the girl gently on the ground. Oh, he pulled her out of the river first. Mm-hmm. Pale and then face. What? And then he placed her gently on the ground, stared at us from across the water through darkened eyes as we ourselves clambered to safety, then turned and disappeared into the woods, fading away to nothing but a memory. Even so, in death, Herbert Solomon was the kindest and gentlest of souls. Uh, this so is he a was, terrible story. So he was, but then, like, where would all the other kids go? I don't know. <laughs> that was a bad story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They just had a kid disappearing problem. Danielle, yeah. you were 0 for 2 on selecting creepy You know what? <laughs> yeah. Not only did your story like not end well, but also it has like a disclaimer on it that like <laughs> if we get what? copyright struck, it's going to be hard for me to defend. <laughs> you know what? What? Boo. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Thank you for joining us on Spoop Temp <laughs> Spoop Tober's episode where really spoopy stuff happened. Like maybe we're going to get copyright struck because of this. <laughs> I don't know. Who's going to pay the fee? Jojo. Well, actually, we would just have to take the video down. Aww. But uh, hey. But my expert narration. Well, we we, uh, we were criticizing it. So. Yeah. So that, that's how you know it's not going to get the copyright struck. Wait, wait. I'm going to put this at the start of the episode. Hey, guys, you may be wondering why I'm in this locker. The following episode is criticism. <laughs> <laughs> and now on to the episode. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. right, and now that the disclaimer is out of the way, thank you for joining us on JoJo Has Fun, Spooptober. I like See it. you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay.